there's nothing more important to me than being involved in this process of helping someone achieve their family goals. I did not think I would be into OBGYN at all. It was my first rotation in medical school, and I saw a delivery uh, for the first time. And I remember what it meant to those people. I knew that that was something that I could do every day. Being a part of that was fulfilling and making me wanting to go to work. So when I was a med student, actually, I heard about RMA, and because of the success that they were having, but also because of the science and the research that they were putting out, this was where I wanted to be. Now I'll be able to have those resources and hopefully the patient satisfaction. Infertility is not easy. It is a journey. The emotional well-being that these patients have is you know, on the level of some other psychiatric illnesses or other issues that people may have in their life, whether that's cancer, whether that's depression. Having infertility is something that takes a toll on someone's emotional state. Going through the treatments that these patients have to go through is difficult. So just getting here, I think, is step one. Not everybody even goes to see a fertility specialist, but we're here for them. We're going to do everything that we can to make sure that we can help them out the rest of the way. I'm interested in, A, making sure that they're educated. I think that's important, just to making sure that they're aware with what their own body is doing, and so that way they can make their own decisions. Here at RMA, we incorporate top-of-the-line science, top-of-the-line positions into patient care. By doing it here on our site and by doing it with the people that we have, with the infrastructure that we have, we can really help these families achieve the, their family goals. We set the scientific standard and we really bring to these people everything that's inclusive about infertility and reproductive endocrinology and all of the science behind it to the patient in the most succinct fashion. As a biracial person, I know that we don't access fertility services as frequently as other people. If they do have infertility issues, I'm here for them. Just being involved with the process and knowing that they trust me is, is truly a humbling experience. So I encourage people to go seek out fertility specialists, to come here. Don't just sit there and wonder on your own because that might only turn you down this horrible spiral of wondering and what ifs. And so seek someone out, get that knowledge that you need to then make the informed decisions that may be necessary. And they may need to be done in a timely fashion. I'm going to listen. We can attack this problem together.